right, we're gonna talk about the process that William Bankston talks about. You want the details, I highly recommend you take a class with him. As we've said, the link to his website's listed below. You can check out his classes. We're not here to teach the Bankston Energy Cure. We're here to talk about our experience with it and how it relates to other modalities that we've explored. So the first step that William talks about doing is you really have to think about how do you manifest things in your life. And this is me paraphrasing into my own experience. So the exercise that he has you do in the book or if you go to a class is the first thing you need to do is you need to write down a minimum of 20 things. 20 things that you wanna see manifest in your life. Right? This is a wish list and it should be selfish. So this isn't necessarily about someone else's healing. This is about your own list for you. So if it's that you want a brand new car, you want a brand new Tesla in bright red with all the bells and whistles, you see that Tesla, you write it on your list. You want to take a trip to Machu Picchu, you put it on your list. So anything that you would like to see manifest in your life that you really have a desire for, make a list. It needs to be at least 20 items. And let me tell you, having done this, you think that you've got this laundry list and then you get down to about 16 and you're like, huh, Okay, I've gone to all the little, the big, what do I want? But make it 20. The next thing that you do is that you spend time over an evening, maybe an entire week if that's what it takes you, but you visualize each item on the list and you put yourself in it. So if it's that Tesla car, you own it. You drive it, you're grateful for it, but it's something that you already have. So you have to drop into the emotional state. So it's a combination of the visual, and the emotional and anything that you find that you will read on how to manifest things in your life, it's about combining the mental and the emotional. So it's that picture and the idea of already having, not the excitement of getting, but of already having. As if you're looking back on time to the day you bought the Tesla, as if you're looking back on time to the first road trip that you took in your Tesla, right? So it's the state of already having. You put it on your list, you fully feel that and you sit in that emotion for 15 minutes for every single item on your list so that you can access that. It is now mapped into your neurology as if you've already had it. You're thankful for having it before it occurs. Now what you do in the next exercise is you need to be able to do this quickly. You don't wanna spend hours getting yourself into a state. You wanna be able to access this energy quickly in the flash of an eye. So in the exercise in the class, he actually picked up a water bottle and he would beat on it. But the idea was drop into the picture of that one and then the next one and then the next one. And you can look at your list and at a very rapid pace, you actually quickly bring it up in your mind's eye and you feel the emotion of having already had it in your life. You're looking back on a memory and then it goes faster and then faster and then faster until the point is you can't keep up with it, but you drop it then into an icon. He only has two rules, be playful and avoid ritual. So one day I might make up this spinning image of all of those things on my list of 20 items. I just, I make it a rose petal. It's a rose with petals and it flashes. Next day it might be a Ferris wheel. I could be standing in a kaleidoscope. It doesn't matter what I make up, but it should be different because in ritual, we lose the magic. So it's about being playful. And so play with the image and you spin it. I now have an icon basically, which we teach that in our Quantum Touch 2 classes, is how do you play with icons? But I now have an icon that's changeable that represents all of that emotion, all that state of having of all the great things on my dream. And he'll tell you, get ready because you will begin to manifest the things on that list because it's a state of already having had, which means the universe needs to fulfill that list for you. And I will tell you, I've had to update my list several times. Now, what happens when you go to do healing work is the magic of the next step. So join us on how you now incorporate someone else. Just keep mine in your first list. It's about you only. I may wanna take a trip in that Tesla with some loved family member, but I don't picture them in that Tesla to start with because they're not their, their energy may not see the same vision. So your list should only include you in the beginning, even though you know there may be other people in the back scene, you don't see them at the moment until you're strong enough on this list to ask someone else if they'd like to participate in your list. So go make your list, have some fun, play with that. Come back to the next video and we'll talk about how you now apply that to the healing practice.